because unless we have done something wrong nothing can happen to us no wrong can happen to us okay so that that essentially violates the law of karma when people say well there are many people who say you know oh nature is very cruel yes the world is full of injustice okay well actually at a deeper level uh, if you understand you will know there is no injustice to anybody okay everything is justice served depending on their karma now that does not mean that no oh, anything is happening you say anyways it's your karma na just get lost so that that's that doesn't mean that okay but uh, if you read the ramayana you will understand this perfectly you will understand so when kk tells lord ram because there are many people who will quote destiny okay सर हमारा तो भाग करम फुटे हमारा तो दुर्भाग्य है ये है वो है मैं ऐसे भी क्या कर सकते कुछ नहीं कर सकते राइट रामायण वॉट है रामायण लॉर्ड राम इज बैनिस्ड फॉर फोर्टीन इयर्स and if you read the ram charit manas or valmiki ramayana as soon as lord ram tells okay now i will depart for the forest then what does lakshman do that time lakshman takes up his you know bow and he says in fact he he say he does not say dashrath is his father <laughs> yeah. he says this old useless king dashrath <laughs> he is simply a handpicked husband whatever his wife dictates he does he does yeah and because his wife has told him now he has thrown you out but let me tell you you are not alone before you go they have to pass through my dead body as in hindi they say na mere shaf ke upar se jana padega i will fight the army of ayodhya alone and i will defeat everybody and even if bharat and satrugan comes i will fight and i will rip them off because i know they are on the side of kk yes i mean they were not but he assumed because he was yeah. kk sir you know and lakshman says even if indra comes today with his dev sena i will fight and i will dethrone him from the heavens and i will, if required i will destroy the entire universe but i will not let this injustice happen to you <laughs> yeah. what does lord ram say lord ram says my dear lakshman calm down destiny is very powerful <laughs> lord ram gives a big lecture on destiny he says that destiny is very powerful you know you can't change destiny and dashrath is not a handpicked husband he he has given his word and in ragukul reet sada chaliyai pran jaye vachan na jaye you know that in ragukul whenever you give a word you will die but that word should be fulfilled Yeah. So don't and think that's, that you are. Yeah. No. And that's the another big remedy you have just mentioned for Sun because he was a Surya Vanchi. Yes. Uh, Lord Ram. So this is one of the remedies I have learned from my teacher. If you have given some word, stick to it and execute it. Because uh, if you don't do it, your Sun, wherever it is, even if it's exalted, you're destroying it. very true very beautiful true. beautifully you have explained now now you see in the same rama and the same person when sita devi is kidnapped by ravan and when lord ram is searching around for sita devi yes yeah he is asking the trees have you seen sita he is asking the birds have you seen sita he is asking the land he is asking the pansmar hut and at one point he becomes so angry he looks towards the skies to the heavens he says you demigods i have always followed dharma my life why did you not protect sita from whoever has you know abducted her because it is your duty to protect dharma in this world that is your responsibility and because you failed in your responsibility of protecting sita you don't deserve to live and today i will take a brahmastra and i will wipe you all <laughs> and he is about to invoke a brahmastra and then lakshman is like my god yeah <laughs> because once lord ram invokes the brahmastra then he must discharge the entire heavenly realms and the 14 planetary system everything will be finished 
finished. Yeah. Yes, because that is his responsibility as a husband to you know protect his wife. So that time he does not say, "Oh, anyways, destiny is very powerful." You know, Ravan has kidnapped my wife. What can I do? Okay. He doesn't say that. So, but on the Mahabharat, you will see Dhritarashtra always. Whenever Vyasdev or Bhishma will suggest, he will say, "Anyways, what can I do? I am blind by destiny. I am no powers. You know, I am. Uh, I, I don't have anything in my life. I am very unfortunate." So that's so stupid to say like that because you have you have the power. You are the king. Okay, so whenever you talk of remedies, we also always have to understand that we we have a responsibility. Okay, so if we find some problem. Not uh, in ourselves, in the chart, right? Yeah, <laughs> we are perfect, but the chart is troublesome, right? Troublesome. So when we find a problem in the chart, okay, then what? It is our responsibility to do two things: to do that remedy which the scriptures have suggested, and also see the natural significations of that planet. Okay, so for Saturn discipline and for Sun, whatever you said rightly, okay. So for all planets, we all know what they represent. Okay, so then we need to do both. And when we are doing the remedy, we should not be thinking, okay, when will I get the result? Okay, because when you are talking of result, you have to understand the remedy's purpose is not to change the karma. Yeah. That's not the purpose of the remedy. No yes. remedy can change karma. Yes. The remedy yes. can only empower you with knowledge. Because for every planet, there's a particular Vishnu avatar. For Saturn, they can chant this mantra, Om Namo Narayana. Okay. okay. So then when you chant the mantra for that particular avatar, then what happens is that avatar will empower you to learn the deficiencies which is inside you. Okay. Right. So that we can be more aware. Yeah. So that is the two principles. First is we put our own efforts. But that is not enough, you see, because our karma is from millions and millions of yeah. lives. Okay. Yeah. No human being can have that much strength that you know they will change everything themselves or improve even. So right. we try our best and we seek higher help. We we do the mantras, we do the remedies. By that we are seeking help from a higher authority. Okay. So then that is very harmonious that we do our best and then. The the devata also blesses us. Okay, yes. so that that is the way you can uh, say that I have changed my karma, right. okay. even without changing. And when you and the biggest remedy for all problems, not your your problems, problems <laughs> of your chart. Okay. chart. <laughs> You're perfect. I am perfect. Only our charts are. Chart right. has problem. Yeah, chart has problem, you know. Moon is in eighth house, that in Maran Karak, but I am fine. I have nothing to do with Moon, you know. It's just a, a small planet after all. Okay. So the biggest remedy is to elevate your consciousness spiritually. Hmm. Now people yes. ask me that, oh, uh, that means if I do this mantra, you know, for Vishnu or for Ram, then that means all these problems will disappear, right? <laughs> because you told it's a upai, right? Upai. Quick, 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 you know. Like that day, one person messaged me in Facebook that, oh, these, these are problems, you know, not in me, in my chart. <laughs> okay. So, can you give me remedies so that I know? Hey, just jatke me, you know. Sab vanish ho gaya. Ekdam finished. Can you give me some remedies? I said, you are in dreamland. <laughs> <laughs> and the remedies which I will give you, you have to do it for the rest of your life. Are you ready to do it? Well, it's our time nahi hai. Time. Yeah, hire a person. Yeah, so what do you think? You will not do anything yourself. You will not even do remedy. At least one you do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then if you don't do that, then there is no hope. You see, then we, we, are, we will just lie. And then sometimes people say, there's another fancy statement which people will give in terms of remedies. People say, why, we, why should we do remedies? Let us face karma. Yes, this yeah. is like, a, you know, Dabang statement, you know, yeah. but, uh, one of my gurus answers this question. He says, even if you suffer or you enjoy, you experience all the karma, has it made you a better person? Necessarily not. That's what happens. You will see always. People, mm -hmm. they get good things. 
they get bad things do they change do they become a better person no they remain the same yes many times they will uh, start uh, spiritual practices when things are difficult yes when yeah. the neck is tight you know then they are like oh where is vishnu where is shiva where is ram where is ganesh and the problems have disappeared and then suddenly oh i was watching big boss right let's continue i have nothing to do with shiva now i have nothing to do with ganesh you know these are all these are all uh, poor fellows who we will just use when we have some problems right yeah so that's how the approach is and that approach does not work okay so when we elevate our consciousness then the biggest thing which happens is our necessities go down yeah because ultimately why people complain of problems because the resources which you have is less than your desires right exactly absolutely absolutely if absolutely. your necessities are more than your desires then you don't have any problem in this world. now that's why the biggest lesson to be learned is to be content that is the first lesson we all should learn to be content in whatever circumstances we have been provided yes people will have their demands and needs and everything nothing wrong with that but contentness humility humbleness is the first lesson i think personally and regarding this only as i was telling you in the part 1 you know in shrimad bhagavatam that is why it is so important because there uh, there is a story of this chitraketu maharaj and goddess durga and lord shiva you know so what happened chitraketu is a great soul yes one day he is going uh, with 50 heavenly women you know 50 heavenly women can you believe it how what an experience that is and then he is going 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 in the aeroplane and he is not talking of love and romance there he is talking of lord vishnu and ramayana and mahabharat oh wow okay so generally they say if if somebody is having a good time with the opposite sex god is the last person you will remember yeah yeah, yeah. everybody remembers god when there is problems in their life right or when there is a breakup but before that oh who is god why do we need but he was not like that he was at the prime of his beauty of youth his intelligence okay and yeah. even then he was discussing and suddenly he goes to kaila and he sees lord shiva there yeah and he was like wow there's something very interesting going on here lord shiva was giving a class on vairagya detachment renunciation okay simplicity but the only issue was <laughs> his wife goddess parvati was sitting on his lap and she was embracing him and you know she was <laughs> yeah. and then chitraketu was like my god what's going on <laughs> and right. he gives a statement na ek pagal dusre pagal ko pehchanta hai so a great soul can recognize another great soul soul yes yeah. again the vibration part plays out yes he understood that lord shiva is so great that even when the most beautiful lady of the entire creation mm-hmm. goddess parvati sitting in his lap and she is embracing him you know he is not disturbed yeah. he is <laughs> in a deep trance you can speak about detachment my god and who is sitting in that assembly in kailash all the big big sages the rishis muni mm-hmm. brahma indra everybody is sitting there and then chitraketu what he does he claps his hands he says wow what a sight that is to behold oh, what what an unusual sight it is you know you are speaking on detachment and your wife is sitting in your lap wow that is such a unusual sight you know this only you can do lord shiva nobody else can do this and then again the same statement you know ek pagal dusre pagal ko <laughs> so that lord shiva also understood what he meant okay then lord shiva gave it back to him lord shiva said my dear chitraketu i am only having one lady <laughs> and you are having 50 ladies <laughs> but you are also doing the same thing which i am doing so essentially he meant was you are even greater than me wow but there was a serious problem goddess parvati misunderstood and parvati became very angry she said 
you chitra ketu you are an insignificant king of some planet you think you have the audacity to comment like this on lord shiva i curse you go down and become a demon <laughs> okay and when parvati devi is cursing it is not maybe or if you know you know it's done <laughs> yeah. nobody can save you when what is parvati curses you but the shrimad bhagavatam says chitra ketu was so powerful chitra ketu was so powerful by the dint of his spiritual practices he could nullify parvati's curse and he could counter curse parvati back and parvati could not nullify that curse that's what shrimad bhagavatam says oh really yes wow he had the power he could have done it <laughs> wow and and uh, sorry to interrupt baba ji ji that's why i cannot put enough emphasis to all the viewers especially your viewers and uh, whatever handful viewers i have that classics whatever the classics whatever the epics we have we should learn we we should learn or start uh, learning about bhagavad gita what are the lessons what were the chemistries what are the because the real remedies if you really want to do the bona fide remedies it is all there in the classic te- te- text yes, everything is there and then what does chitraketu do everybody was expecting oh now chitraketu will say you mother parvati i deny your curse and now i curse you back listen as i curse you no he didn't do that he just went down from his uh, airplane and he folded his palms and he said my dear mother whatever you say so be it <laughs> can you see any imagination of humbleness we should learn yeah can you imagine he is at the peak of his you know youth beauty whatever a sane man can desire he has millions of times more in quality and quantity than any normal human being of this earth and from that position somebody curses you that you become a demon wow my god that's such a big humiliation and then what happens lord shiva starts smiling <laughs> lord shiva says you know he 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 addresses mother parvati in a sarcastic way he says priye <laughs> he says you know oh beloved one He says the very famous sloka of the Shrimad Bhagavatam. This is in one of the top hundred slokas. Okay. He says Nara yana para sarve nakutascha na vibhyati swarga apavarga narkeshu api tulyarthi darshina. That one who is attached to Lord Nara yana, Nara yana para sarve nakutascha na vibhyati vibhyati. He is not affected by all these externals because for him swarga apavarga swarga or any other varga narkeshu or hell. heaven hell or anywhere else api tulya arthi darshan it's all the same yeah. because he was so much focused on lord vishnu that for him you know okay i will become a demon what's the big deal i am a soul anyways nobody can do anything you know i am a soul <laughs> yeah. so that that is the biggest remedy i'm telling if if somebody does this then you don't have to do any other remedy yeah. and till the time you do not do this no other remedies will able to help you at a soul level all will be like quick fix you know as in india they say na totkas yes because, yeah. take coconuts throw in the water take flower throw there give, give this give that all the remedies maybe they can mitigate some of your karma but yeah. ultimately you are the same you have simply wasted your time and money and energy and nothing else you did not benefit yourself okay so doing spiritual practices every day morning reading scriptures like the bhagavatam or the gita or ramayana and mahabharat and maintaining a good lifestyle yeah. if your problems the biggest the most horrified yoga in india you know mangalik 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 yoga everybody is running mangal puja mangal dosh ka puja kar rahe hain and in the dinner they are going and eating non veg yeah i mean that's that's so funny you know you are doing a remedy for mangal which is the karaka for violence and then in the dinner in the lunch in the breakfast you are going and eating meat so do you think mars will as in hindi they say na bevkuf samjhayega yeah if we are not fools you think the devatas they are fools do you think they they don't know anything no 
they know everything they know what you say and what you do is matching or not only then empowerment comes okay so that that is all about remedies i hope that answers your question so the answer no, very well. the answer very to that is remedies don't change the karma which means they do not change the incoming of the karma okay yeah. but it makes you strong from within to deal with those circumstances in a better way and the biggest remedy i already told you that i mean in this world what happens you know we lose some money or we are divorced or something happens but can you imagine what happened to chitragetu yeah. i mean there is no house in astrology which would have got activated which house <laughs> Yes, people say I, I, my eighth house has got active. This happened. Twelfth house may here happen. Are you Chitra? Ki to which house has got active? Yeah. Oh, you know now tomorrow you say na Donald Trump will become a beggar. Can you believe it? No, because we have not seen it. <laughs> But he faced it. So that's what the remedies, and we can move on to the next question, or you can. Yeah. No, beautifully explained, and I would just. Um, um, But a uh, small thing, a small statement on this. My teacher always says there is no cancellation policy in karmas. Yes. Because a lot of people ask me that, okay, can we do this upay and uh, the the things which we have done, which you know from our chart, will will that get nullified? No. Ourselves, our charts. <laughs> our charts. <laughs> our charts. So no, there is no cancellation policies in the karma. So, but you have, I think you have explained yeah, it beautifully. People say, "Oh, my Mars or Venus is debilitated. I will go and donate to you know ladies or to cows, and this will happen." Well, I mean that that has a different uh, approach altogether. But there is no cancellation. You know, there are two separate accounts. Good karma will go in the good account, and good account. good karma goes in the negative. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Baba Ji Ji, that was beautiful. Let's uh, go to the third question, yes. which was how much. This is the most frequent asked question to me as well. How much free will do we have, and is there any free will? Yes. So I, I I really want you to answer that to the audience, to your audience, to my audience, because uh, this is a very frequent ask question and not many people talk about that uh, uh, briefly so we'll end this recording and we'll join again for the next yeah. answer okay